Hi everybody, it's Miss Lauren here from Music in Motion Dance Studio. I am sitting in front of our recital hub that is located in the lobby here at the dance studio. And I'm going to talk to you today about some general concert information. I will be going into more detail about the dress rehearsal, the show day, and the photo week in some separate videos. Um, everybody should have received the comprehensive recital guide by now. Um, if you have not yet received received this, please check your students' dance bags um, where it might be stashed, or you can just pop into the lobby and grab one. We have them here on the table. The Comprehensive Recital Guide is a quick guide, reference guide um, that is printed, that is easily accessible, that has all of our information about dates, times. Um, it even goes into detail about tights and shoes, um, hair and makeup, and so on. So make sure that you grab one or several of these so that you can reference it easily. All of this information is also located on our website. Our website is www.musicinmotionva.com. On the navigation, there is a section called For Parents, that's you, and then the Recital Hub is directly under that. Um, it is a listing of articles on all of the events that happen around recital, including photo week, dress rehearsal, costumes, um, it also has the videos and the music if you've been practicing at home. So let's talk a little bit about your students' classes and what we've been doing in classes. Um, first of all, hopefully you have checked our recital media library. That is where we have been uploading videos um, of practice in the classroom. It is very helpful and very useful to your student to um, gain confidence and uh, do the absolute best they can by practicing at home. So you can check those um, videos. They are organized by teachers' classes. Over the next couple of weeks we're going to be deleting all of the old videos and old information so that each class ends up with one final video of the dance from beginning to end that is an easy reference point to follow and we also have the music you can download as well. We have had a lot of students come to us and say, my mom doesn't allow me to get on YouTube. So we're hoping that you will um, allow uh, special access uh, for your students to take a look at these videos. They are all private, um, uh, private videos that are completely unlisted so that no one else has access to your students class content except for you and those um, parents and families that have the link. All right, so some basic Basic concert information. Uh, the show day is a Sunday afternoon. It is on June 6th. There are three total shows. We name them show A, show B, and show C. Show A will begin at 2.30 p.m. Show B will begin at 4.15 p.m. And show C will begin at 6.15 p.m. The call time for all students to arrive for whatever show they are designated to be in is 45 minutes prior to show start time. So uh, do not show up at 2.30 with your student. You need to show up 45 minutes early. That way you can check your student into the backstage. They can begin to prepare themselves with the staff while you take your seat in the audience. Okay, dress rehearsal is uh, the day before show day. Dress rehearsal is on Saturday, June 5th. The dress rehearsal for show A, show B, and show C will be at 9 a.m. for show A. I have to um, uh, access the handy recital guide to make sure I get the times right. <clears throat> it's hard to memorize all these numbers. Uh, show B is 1115 a.m. and show C is 130 p.m. Those are the actual arrival times. So if you are in show A, please arrive at 9. If you are in show B, please arrive at 1115. If you are in show C, please arrive at 130. Um, there are students who are in multiple shows. Uh, we do quite a bit of math and rearranging in order to, um, number one, ensure that we can keep um, 
um, the audience to a certain cap uh, that is required by law, required by the state, and that every student still gets to have two parents attending the show. So that means we have to move classes around based on the total number of students in each class. That also means that sometimes siblings might not be in the same show, and sometimes dancers, um, depending on their level, maybe you're in level one for tap, but you're in level three for jazz, um, you might be in a different show for two of your different pieces. We do have an unlimited ticket price option um, so that you can attend multiple shows. Also, students of Music in Motion do not need a ticket. There is going to be um, uh, chairs in between each uh, pod of available tickets. So if your sibling is in show A and also another student is in show B, your student can come and sit in the audience next to you and they do not need to be ticketed in order to do that. However, um, any siblings who are not Music in Motion students absolutely uh, must have a ticket in order to attend the show. So we have dress rehearsal June 5th that is required for all students. We have show day June 6th. Um, hopefully you'll be able to make it, don't forget. And both of those events are happening at the theater. We also have a photo week. The photo week is May 10th to 14th. The timing is different for photo week, right? So no matter what class your student is in, they will come from 5 to 7 p.m. Drop off at 5, pick up at 7 p.m. for um, the day that they go to class. So if you are in Lyrical and Lyrical's on Monday, that means you're going to come to class on Monday, May 10th from 5 to 7. In that time frame, we're going to be doing class photos. We're going to be running the dances and costume. We're going to be practicing in front of the other kids in the classroom. So it's a super fun event and a chance for all the kids to get to actually see the show because they don't get to see it when they are waiting backstage. Uh, we are asking for volunteers. Uh, we need ushers to help um, bring people to their seats. It's a great job for dads. It's a great job for brothers. Um, we will have a, uh, you will earn a free ticket if you volunteer. I will have a separate section in the back of the theater that is for unticketed volunteers. So that's another way to get um, a friend into the show. We need people to help in the front of house with concessions, with flowers and things like that. And we also need some backstage help, um, ideally backstage moms for our female dressing rooms. Um, you will help with uh, games and coloring for the younger students, um, hairspray for the older students, hair appliques, taking students to the bathroom and to the water fountain to fill up their water bottles. So volunteering is, is super fun. Um, we do also have here uh, in the lobby some things that you might need for the show. So every student should be receiving a mask in their bag. The students will need to be wearing masks backstage. Um, and so they all match. Um, if you need extra masks, these are super soft and comfortable. We have nude, we have pink, and we also have um, uh, different skin tones as well. Um, if you need extra tights, we do have pink tights up front and we have um, our suntan tights, which will be your convertible or your stirrup tights for acro and tap and jazz. And we also have um, nude leotards as well. Nude leotards are super important as well as nude bras uh, you know, to make sure that no undergarments are showing underneath of your costumes. And also we want to make sure um, that the students, if they're changing in front of other students, which is likely with the open dressing rooms, if they have on a nude leotard, then they um, will maintain their modesty as they are changing. So this is our recital hub up here at the front. We have some information. We have the show order posted and we have volunteer lists as well as items you might need for recital. If you have any questions, just shoot us an email. Thanks so much for listening.